Hey everyone, welcome back. You're probably here for this adorable box uh, that I created. So this box will hold a um, envelope album, which I created with my We Are Memory punch board. So this little album is sized three by four. So all I did was take this little envelope and I made a little album together. So this one we're going to create, this box portion, and this we're going to create with our We Are Memory punch board. So these envelopes are three by four. So on your uh, punch board, it's going to be the six by six. Now you do not need a punch board. You can use anything three by four, you can use any envelope, you can stick anything in, but this just happens to fit this perfectly because I measured it for this album. So let's get started. And this, oh, by the way, this tasseled um, paper tassel was inspired by the Paper Treasury. She has a YouTube channel. I did not watch this. I seen her post it, but I'm gonna show you the quick way that I kind of have just figured out how to do it. And if you want a better in-depth tutorial on this, definitely go to her channel. So we're gonna start off with a um, nine, by six and three quarter paper. So I'm using my We Are Memory punch board because these measurements are definitely a little wonky. They're not your standard measurement. It was just the way it happened to be when I was measuring this out. So we're gonna have our paper at the six and three quarter side and we're going to score it at three fourth of an inch one and one eighth, five and five eighths. I have a hard time finding these two because I don't really use these measurements often. And six. So again, three fourth of an inch, one and one eighth of an inch, five and five eighth of an inch, and six. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip this to the nine inch side. And this is going to get scored at one and five eighths, two inches, five and three eighths, and five and three quarters. So again, one and five eighths, two inches, five and three eighths, and five and three quarters. Okay, and that's it for our little uh, scoreboard. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out. So here's my lid portion, as you can see, it's the smaller end. We're gonna go ahead and cut out, well, can you see, the four boxes right here. So one, two, three, four, cut those out. So we don't need those. And do not cut into your box like I did. Should be using smaller scissors. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and cut the other four boxes out on the other side. If you follow my tutorials, you probably know the drill, but sometimes I cut the inside just a little differently depending on the fold. Okay, so it should look like that. Now go to the bottom, flip it, and you're gonna go ahead and cut these four out as well. I wouldn't say they're squares. I would say kind of like three rectangles in one square. We don't need these, so cut those out. Okay, and I'm gonna do this side. And just cut those four little boxes out. Okay. Now, as you notice on my lid, I made this like zig, like diagonal cut, and I just wanted it to be different. You can leave your lid square, but I just thought it added a little bit uh, of fun, you know, compared to just leaving it like this. So what I do for this is I eyeball a, rect a triangle, cut it, Ooh. oh gosh, that was terrible. I cut it, okay. And I take that same piece, which I've destroyed this piece, but <laughs> um, 
and I put it on backwards. Oops, not that backwards, I'll show you. This way backwards. And it's your guide, so it will be completely even um, on the other side. Now don't cut your triangle like me and you'll be good. But I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball it. And I kind of cut into my lid a little bit, but you get the picture, so it will look like that. I definitely cut way more into it than I would like to have, but that's okay. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fold my scores. And for um, the top, I'll show you. Oh, this paper is really hard to see. I don't really like the inside of this paper. I'm just gonna hide it inside. So when I do my score, it's gonna be like this, and I like to just chop this off. And I'll trim it sometimes if I if it's too high. Okay, so your insert sides are gonna look like that. This is some wild paper inside, isn't it? <laughs> I only am using it for the outside. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and glue that and glue this part. And this is gonna be your adorable little box right here. I just stick, you have enough room to stick your fingers inside, your pointer finger, and just push down so you can get that wall inside there. Oops, and this is not staying. I don't know if I put enough glue. You just have to hold it for a minute. I did not do that back score. So make sure you score before you fold. Okay, so when I close it, these are kind of a little bit higher than I like. So you can trim it a little bit if you want, or you can leave that. I just like to trim it just a little bit. It's all preference. But I'm gonna take that part off. And then as you see, you have your little box right there. So what I did was I took a bow and I stuck it on. And then I added a little Velcro strip right here. So ta-da! And then um, see, so for this right here, I took two six by six papers and created envelopes with them. So if you're familiar with the punch board, you know what to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it for those who don't. Um, I'm gonna use the six by six paper and it's gonna create a three by four card size envelope. So I take it and it's telling me to score at two and five eighths. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find the two and five eight mark. I gotta stand up and give myself some Elbow brace here. I'm gonna score it. You find, and that's just gonna be your guide the rest of the way. That score line. And you just punch on every score line all the way around. And you don't need to do this. You can just use anything you have. But this is just gonna make my album. This is kind of made for um, this album specifically. But like I said, you can use it for anything. So right there is going to be my envelope. And I'm doing two of these. Is my neighbor's dog barking. So two and five eighths. Scoring it all the way around. in that oh and you know what I forgot to do I forgot to um punch it I like to punch the longer end so they're rounded so this has a little punch on it and you just punch it down so you see the corner and then they kind of round it off and you can do that with your rounder too 
Okay, and now I'm just going to make my envelopes and I like to tuck the smaller wings inside and then glue the larger one on the outside. first one and this is how I do the envelope albums um, people have asked me how I do those like bigger ones and this is all I do I do these and I stack them and stack them and stack them and they create these awesome little like envelope albums and I'll still do one just so you can see for those who want to okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my two envelopes and I just tuck in Whichever one you want your cover. So if I do this, this is probably going to be the back because I'm going to glue it on here. So I want um, this to be my cover and this to be the back. And which one? Let me see which one looks better. Actually, let's make this the cover. So I tucked it in, just slip it in, and I'm going to glue this down. And that's going to make my little album. So this is the Jen Hadfeld collection again that I'm just going to be using. So I'm just going to decorate it for you guys. I'm just adding a little bike on there. As you can see, I just decorated the front of this. And this I used a little bit of double-sided tape to give it a little bit of 3D dimension. So I can show you guys how I do that. I don't think this is gonna match with that bike on there. Okay, that does not go in there. I'm not finding one that's going to be small enough for that. But, um, I'm just taking my little double sided foam tape right here. And I just cut a small little strip to give me that little 3D effect going on. And this is probably not going to match on the front, but I just want to show you. So, if you have a piece you can use. Um, can I take this off without destroying it? Okay. So I'll put that on the bottom and then like it'll give it 3D. I don't really like the way that looks, but I'm just going to show you. So, and then inside, here's a little tip. So these walls are really ugly because they're white. So what I like to do is I like to cut it down a little bit. I like a, this is going to be three by four. So I'm just going to eyeball it right now. I'm just going to cut a scrap and just eyeball it. And what I like to do is take a strip and glue it on the wall. So it covers up. So if you don't have double-sided paper, this is just a fun tip. So it covers that up and it just looks way better already. And then this side, I like to um, add a different, if you can find my pad. I like to find a different kind of paper that goes in the collection, which I'm running out of, as you can see. And all the scrapbook stores right now are so behind because everything is just, you know, because of what's going on, everything is backed up. So I have collections coming and it's been taking quite some time. So there you go. So if you have, if you want to cover that part up, that's a good tip. Now you just go ahead and decorate. So you guys know I like to flip everything on. This is kind of bigger. So I think this one I'll stick inside. But this would be adorable right here. And put this one on this side. Add stickers. I 
like right here. So that's the inside of just like a sweet, simple album. And then here's my little box right here. And it fits perfectly inside. So as you can see, this is, so this is two envelopes, two, four, you could probably fit six of them here. If you want to embellish it yourself and not do an album and just make a bunch of envelopes for your um, pen pal or snail mail or whoever you're giving it to, that's also an idea and it will come out cute. So you don't really have to make this album. You can just make a bunch of little envelopes and stick them in here so you can see all the room it has. So that's it, you guys. This is my album and my envelopes, and I hope you guys liked it. Thank you.